In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for the SF3 plus ion. So the first thing we do for Lewis structure is we count up the valence electrons. Sulfur is in group 16, sometimes called 6A, six valence electrons. And then fluorine, right next to it, 17. That'll have seven valence electrons, but we have three of those. And then for the positive sign up here, that means that we've lost an electron. If we lose an electron, they're negative. So when we lose a negative charge, become positive, so we've lost one electron. So we have 6 plus 21, that's 27 minus 1, so we have 26 total valence electrons for the SF3 positive Lewis structure. So sulfur is the least electronegative of the elements here. Fluorine is very electronegative. So the sulfur, that's going to go in the center of our Lewis structure, and then we'll put the fluorine atoms around that. So we have three fluorine atoms. And it doesn't matter if we put one up here or down here. It's the same structure. Next, we're going to take two electrons, a pair of electrons. We're going to put them between each of these atoms here. This is forming the chemical bond between the sulfur and the fluorine atoms. So we've used two, four, six. We have a total of 26. Let's complete the octets on each of the fluorine atoms. At this point, we've used 24 valence electrons. We have 26. All the fluorine atoms, they have octets. They have these eight valence electrons around them. The sulfur doesn't, however. So let's put the last two right here on top of the sulfur. And when we do that, we have our Lewis structure for the SF3 positive ion here. Because it's an ion, let's put brackets around it. And then we'll write the positive sign out here. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for the SF3 positive ion. Thanks for watching.